Hey everybody, welcome back to another adventure of Coffee Girl Gaming. Let's jump into this. All right, you guys, so this is the video we've been talking about for a while. It's our Q&A video. So follow along with me on my little adventure around the island as I answer some of your questions. Let's go. All right, you guys, so here we are. We're going to be walking around the island, checking things out, and I'm going to talk to you while we're doing that. So um, again, thank you so much for everybody who, who subscribed. I got 3,000 subscribers and then some since we've <laughs> announced that. So thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to get so many more subscribers so we can do so many more awesome fun things. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's go on to number one. Um, the first question comes from Reagan Crossing. And Reagan's question is, who is the best villager in the game? And in the whole game, I went back and forth on this one. I was like, Judy, um, is it sure? Bones, Raymond, Cookie. There's so many awesome villagers out there. And when it came down to it, the villager that I look forward to the most, that I absolutely want to talk to the most, is always going to be Raymond. And he's just that that villager that I never expected to have, that I always wanted to have. And he's just adorable and his personality is so cute. So that would have to be the best villager in my book. Right, so the next question comes from Jenny. She's one of our baristas. And her question is, how did you and Laham George meet? And this is kind of um, a different story. Um, we met through a friend online. And so George's nephew, which his nephew is like the same age as him, um, was met somebody online and they were talking. And the funny thing is, is um, the girl that he was talking to online was my friend. And the girl messaged me one day and said, look, I have this guy that I'm talking to online and his uncle would be perfect for you. And I was like, his uncle, how old is he? And um, it was just this big whole ordeal. And I was like, well, go ahead and give him my information, have a message me and then we'll see how it works out. And he lived on the East Coast. I lived on the West Coast. So just to give you an idea. Um, but yeah, he ended up messaging me and we started talking and Oh, like a few months later, he ended up coming out to visit me on the West Coast and he didn't leave. I mean, he, he ended up staying and he moved to the West Coast and eventually I did move to the East Coast and now we're back on the West Coast. So yeah, it's, it's, it's been an adventure for us, but yeah, we actually met through a friend online and so it was, it was kind of perfect, but thank you, Jenny, for asking that question. Okay, hey, so the next question comes to us from Vera, and Vera's question is, are you going to make more Nukazam videos? And I would love to make more Nukazam videos because those are fun, and I love getting all the surprises. So we were also looking at maybe doing something where we actually donated bags or gave bags to somebody. So we'll see what happens down the line, but yeah, I would love to do more Nukazam videos. So thank you for that question. Okay, so the next question is from Vivian, and Vivian specifically asks, is Paolo the best? <laughs> so, um, I, I know Vivian loves Paolo, and Paolo's super cute with his little eyebrows. Um, I don't know if I label him as the best in my book, but I know in your book he is. Um, but then she has a few questions here, and the next one is your favorite personality. My favorite personality for the villagers would have to be Peppy. I'm sure you all realize that because I would have a, a complete Peppy island if I could. Uh, my least favorite might have to be, I hate saying this, but it's actually normal just because I don't feel like they have the biggest, uh, they're not as exciting as the other ones are. So yeah, that would have to be my least favorite. Okay, so our next question comes from Ryan Ballinger and their question is, what is your favorite species in the game? And this one is a very, very, very difficult question for me just because I love so many of them, but it's really a toss up between either cubs, cats, dogs, or even deer. Um, but if I had to choose an absolute favorite, wait, wait, um, it might be, I'm going to go with cats. I'll, I'll say cats and, and dogs is very, 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 very close behind it. But I do love so many of the cats 
and I'd have to say them. Yeah. So the next question comes from Kat Kapow, and their first question is, what is the first game you remember playing? And I wish I could tell you what game was the first game I ever remember playing. I know it was probably like a Super Mario Brothers or something along the line of that, but I couldn't tell you what it really was. Um, what got you into Animal Crossing? That no doubt is George, because what George does is he buys games and then says, here, we're gonna play it. <laughs> so he kind of like makes you play it and he's like, okay, either you love it or you're not gonna love it. So it's just him, he loves to play games and he loves to share games with us. And that's why Zoe's a gamer, that's why I've become a gamer, because he just loves games so much and he wants to play them with us. So it's, it's, it's awesome though, I love it. Next question comes from Master Dragon, and his question is, will you collab with Froggy Crossing, Crossing Minute, um, Koromora, or more people like that? And, you know, I, if they ever offered or if I ever got to the chance to talk to them, I would love to. I just, I don't know them. Um, so it's not really something where I can say, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump into that. I just, yeah. I've, I've never met them before, so if we did, it would be awesome, but I, I don't see it happening anytime in the near future. So Grape Crossing asked some very specific questions. Um, first of all, they want to know what my favorite game is besides Animal Crossing New Horizons, and oh my gosh, the only other game I play would be like Story of Seasons, that's really good, I've played Minecraft. Um, so those are just a few other games that you could catch me or Civilization. I love Civilization. Um, who is your favorite jock villager? That no doubt would be Dom because Dom is adorable and I don't know if he's ever going to leave my island. I even bought his little figurine because I love him so much. So it will be Dom. Um, non-Animal Crossing related question also from Grape Crossing. Um, or I'm sorry, Grape Gaming, gaming um, non-Animal Crossing related. What do you think about the new OLED Switch or OLED Switch? Um, I am personally not going to be purchasing it because it's exactly the same as the Switch Note, it just has a bigger screen. And I barely ever play it as a handheld. I always play it on my computer or on the television. So for me, there's absolutely no reason to get it um, just because there's no updates to it other than the screen. So yeah, that's my opinion on it. And then lastly, Apple or Android, and I've never, ever, ever had an Apple device. I've only had Android. Um, George has a ban against Apple products inside the house. He's completely an Android fanboy. So there, no, there's everything in our home is Android. This question comes from Miss Bubbles. Um, what are your future plans on the cafe? And honestly, um, my future plans of the cafe are kind of up in the air. I'm either going to be just completely flattening the whole island and starting from scratch so I don't lose all my villagers, or I'm going to maybe restart it. I hate saying that, but I'm, I'm, I feel like the cafe has... It, it, it doesn't reflect what I wanted to. <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking of just redoing the whole thing. Next question from Miss Bubbles is, um, when do you think you'll be done with Deja Brew? And we're almost done with Deja Brew. I have one little area over to the left where I'm walking right now that um, it, it just needs to be completed. And then um, I need to work on my house. Oh my gosh, on, I need to work on the inside and the outside of the house. So that's the next adventure too. Um, I'm just, I keep going through different ideas on what I wanna do to complete the Deja Brew with that little area. And I haven't found anything that really makes me feel like it's Deja Brew material. This question comes from Duck Rails and they want to know if I go by Jen or Jennifer and I actually go by either of them. Um, most people who are close to me call me Jen, but on a professional basis, usually it's Jennifer. Um, next question, if you had to give up Raymond, who would you get? And I, I want to say Judy for that one, but if it was like a villager that I didn't have that you want to know if I wanted like a whole new villager, I would say Chrissy. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> but there's a lot of villagers out there that I haven't had that I want. Like, I'm looking at a picture of Felicity right now, and I'm like, whoa, I really want Felicity. I want Anka. Um, and, I mean, if it had to be in the same cat category, that might be a couple of them. But there's a lot of villagers that I still want. Little Drama Jim comes up with the next question. Um, is this your first Animal Crossing game? And yes, it is. I've never played Animal Crossing before New Horizons. And then they also want to know if I ever wanted to reset any of my islands. And yes, I'm I'm really, really thinking of resetting the cafe, but um, it's still up in the air. I, I might just steal Georgia's switch and just make a whole nother island on there. I don't know. I love building new islands and I just don't think the cafe is where I want it to be. So far, Harold asked the next question, and I hope I said your name right. You guys know me in names. But um, their question is, is if Hopkins came to your campsite, would you take him? And I absolutely would take Hopkins because Hopkins is adorable. So yes, and I don't think I've ever actually seen Hopkins before. So I would not pass that up at all. Alexandra McKenzie, uh, one of our baristas, asked the next question, and it says, what is your favorite uh, season in Animal Crossing New Horizon and I might say fall and it's coming up here really quick but winter's really pretty with the snow and everything so it's cool but I didn't really play last winter very much um, but the thing about the summertime is there's awesome things to catch like sharks and all that kind of stuff and I love catching those but um, favorite season was probably fall even in real life it's probably fall so that'll be my go-to season almost always. The next question comes from Wes Crossing, which is a barista. And his first question is, Biff, yes or no? <laughs> I've had Biff before. Biff is totally cute. I would take Biff again. So yes. Um, if you could have a villager be your friend in real life, who would it be? And I would probably choose Mary, to be honest with you, because Mary is so sweet and... She just seems like somebody that would be an awesome friend to have. Uh, what villager would you remove from the game? And hands down, it has to be Boone, just because he's scary. And I, 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 I don't ever really want to get him. So it would be Boone. I'm sorry for all the Boone lovers out there. This question comes from Purple Sherry Studios, and they asked, what is your favorite animal in real life? and I would probably have to say dogs. Um, I've always been a dog lover, I've always been a cat lover as well, but I have dogs, I don't have cats, so I'd have to say dogs. Um, who's the best villager you've ever gotten on Deja Brew? Best villager ever on Deja Brew has to be Judy. Um, she was forever my dreamy that I never thought I'd get, and I finally got her, and she was so easy to get on Deja Brew versus on the cafe. Which country do you live in? And I live in the US. And only country I've ever lived in. <laughs> okay, next question is from Crystal Gaming. And it says, uh, what is your favorite bear cub excluding Judy? And I really do think it would have to be Stitches. I think Stitches is adorable. And I love his personality and the little facial expressions he makes. He has so much personality in him that it has to be Stitches. Okay, so Seed the Great asks if in real life, if you could have three pets, what would they be? And they said, it's random, I know, but I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> so um, three pets. I would have a cat, a dog, and maybe a hamster. I don't know. It's, it's pretty generic. I know it's not really original, but those are the animals that are usually my go-to and I love having them. So yeah, it'd be those three. This question is from Monique Arlson, and I hope I got your name right. Um, first question they asked, I already answered, so I'm going to jump to the second one. What inspired you to start a new YouTube channel? And hands down, it was George. <laughs> so, um, well, actually, it's Zoe more so because Zoe really wants to be a YouTuber when she grows up, so she wanted to start doing YouTube videos now. And we were watching like different YouTubers and getting ideas and everything and Zoe was making her videos and we were like, I could do that. And so I was like, I'm going to try it. So we went and we tried making a video for me with all Zoe's computer and all her equipment and all that that we got her to be a YouTuber. And 
you know, it took a few videos, but people started watching, so we went ahead and we ended up getting my my equipment that I use now. I actually ended up buying a computer, a microphone, and everything for me to start doing my own videos in my office, and that way I didn't have to use Zoe's equipment anymore. So that's the story behind me becoming a YouTuber. So next question is from Shauna and it is, what is your unexpected dreamy? And I know exactly who that would be. That would be Bones. I had no idea I would love Bones as much as I did. I didn't know who Bones was until I got him. So he's absolutely an unexpected dreamy and I love him. Um, and if you ever ended up liking a villager more than you expected when you usually wouldn't take them on villager hunts unless during your challenges. Okay. So I know there's this big whole thing with Lyman over the last few episodes where we got rid of him and we got him back, but believe it or not, I actually really, really, really like Lyman and I didn't know I was going to like Lyman that much. So when I let him go, it was really difficult, but I'm so happy to have him back. Um, so it, it would have to be Lyman as an unexpected villager that I didn't know I was really going to like. From Team K Productions, favorite place you've traveled? or a place you want to travel, where did you grow up? Um, okay, so I recently traveled to Disney World for the first time ever, and I absolutely loved it. So that is a place I'm going to continue to travel to because I had so much fun there. Um, another place I'd like to go is maybe like Hawaii or anything like that, but you know, um, yeah, that's, that's somewhere I've never been to that I wanna go to. Um, and I grew up in Los Angeles, California. I grew up in, in North Hollywood and yeah, I was, I lived there my whole childhood in the same house, my whole childhood. So, um, it was an adventure and since then I've lived a lot of other places, but I, yeah, California was a great place to grow up as a kid. It was fun. Lots of things to do. Mythical Creatures Fantasy wants to know if I love or dislike Raymond the Villager. He's literally treated like royalty on my island, is what they said. Um, and Raymond is pretty much like royalty on my island as well. I absolutely love Raymond. And so you have no fear with that. Raymond's going nowhere and I will definitely keep him unless we restart our island. Then I'll have to figure out how to get him back. But yeah. The Yukon Cornelius show <laughs> asked if I like Goldie, and I do love Goldie. Goldie's super cute. Um, so one of these days we'll get Goldie, but yeah, I, I, I really do love her. Next series of questions comes from Sky, and it says, what has been your favorite game to play on your channel that hasn't been Animal Crossing? And I mean, we haven't played that many, <laughs> so, but so far it's been Metopia because it was a lot of fun and I loved playing the game with, with Zoe. Um, and then as far as how long have George and I been married, we've been married for just over 10 years now. So we've been together for a while. And um, what is your favorite kind of island theme or core out of the ones you've seen? Um, I probably, I, I always have a special place in my heart for like cottage core. I really like cottage core. Um, I think that anybody who can make an island all into a whole little adventure to go to is absolutely awesome. So there's not like a specific one that I can be like, oh, I absolutely don't like that because everybody is so creative and I love all of your islands. But the one that really grabs grabs me the most is, is the cottage core. Okay, and what is what got you interested or hooked to Animal Crossing? And I think I already answered that it was George. Uh, which Animal Crossing game was your first? And that was also Animal Crossing New Horizons. So DJ Calvin asked, um, will you be playing new games other than Animal Crossing New Horizons? And the answer is yes. And what are some of the games you're planning on playing? Um, I know I want to play Sims 5. I just have to check it out to see what it ends up being about, but that one I'm really interested in playing. Um, as far as Metopia, Metopia was super fun, so I'm thinking of doing that a little bit more, and I know I'm going to be playing more Minecraft, but um, anytime a game comes out that I feel like it's worthy of making a video on, then I'll probably try it out and see how it goes. Yeah. 
So Jessie Bryson asks, and she's a barista by the way, but um, she asks, what is your least favorite species in the game and why is it the butts? <laughs> so obviously she knows that gorillas are my least favorite species and I call them butts because they have butts. Um, I mean, it, it, to me, I'm like, do I really have to see their butts walking around? So that's why it's my least favorite. I just, I was never drawn to the gorillas and it's just not a type of villager that I enjoy having. Do you think you'll ever restart your island? Yes. And will you just flatten it or, and we've already answered that question, but, um, up in the air, Jesse. So we will see what's your favorite things to do outside of gaming. Um, well, as far as that, I mean, I love movies. Um, I love to visit other places. I love to travel and I know I love Zoe. So, um, anytime she like wants to go to the park or anything like that, I love family time. So that's a few other things. And, um, yeah. MJ's 0920 asks, do you like surprises? And I love surprises. Like George is horrible at surprises. He does not know how to surprise a person. And so he'll be like, Hey, I was thinking of doing this. And I'm like, why didn't you just surprise me? And he's like, cause I don't know how you respond to it. I'm like, yeah, but you just took all the fun out of it. So <laughs> he's horrible at Christmas time, but, um, I love surprises and I will tell George to keep things from me just to surprise me. Aiden's Machines asks, what is your favorite food? I absolutely love like Tex-Mex or Mexican food. Um, growing up, one of my, a uh, couple of my aunts were from Ensenada, Mexico, and they used to make the most awesome authentic food from Mexico and I love it. So as of today, I can make the authentic enchiladas that they always made. So that's always like my favorite go-to food, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely Mexican or Tex-Mex. Lion Fitz asks, what is your favorite coffee? And my favorite coffee would be McCafe coffee. Um, we actually have a Keurig and our Keurig has the, the, the pods for McCafe. So I think that's the right word, the pods. Um, but yeah, it's, it's my absolute favorite coffee. Um, if I'm out and about and I need to stop and get coffee somewhere, it's Dunkin' Donuts. Um, but usually you'll find me drinking McCafe coffee at home. I will even choose that over going to Dunkin' Donuts. I love it so much. It's delish. Okay, so last question of the day. Um, if you had to pick two villagers to be your real life neighbors forever, who would you choose? And this might actually surprise some people. I would choose Pango on one side and Rosie on the other, just because I think that they're so cute and adorable. They're both peppy, of course, but I think that they'd be really good neighbors. And I feel that they're involved to where they wouldn't just, you know, like shut you out or anything like that. They want to be more in the community and doing things and having fun and bring you along with them. So yeah, Rosie and Pango would be the choice. Hey you guys, so again, thank you so much for watching and you guys asked a lot of awesome questions. So I appreciate everybody who decided to volunteer and ask the questions and I had so much fun answering them. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. I never in a million years thought that we would have 3000 subscribers, especially in the first year. I can't tell you how many people aren't so lucky. So, um, I love you guys. I love the baristas and hopefully soon we'll be celebrating another threshold, hopefully. And otherwise I love you guys and we are off to the next adventure. Thank you so much for watching.